it was really just a weight off my shoulders. I finally you know, get the announcement that you know, what I've been working for is actually you know, come to fruition. And uh, I can actually you know, know where I'm going and know who I'm going up against, know the schedule, and now it's time to put in that work so I can uh, be prepared to go against the best. What were your impressions of Greg Williams when you got a chance to meet him? And, and are you excited to work with a guy like that? Uh, he's intense, you know. I know he knows what he's talking about. He's intelligent, he's smart, and uh, he knows the game very well. So he's going to put me in a position to make plays. I just have to you know, listen and make sure that I become you know, his, his right-hand man. Let, just make sure I'm there every, every day. And I was there after practice, before practice, just trying to become a better player with my technique, not only with my uh, craft on the field, but my intelligence of the of the game off the field. I want to be the best. I mean, the only thing hold me back is me. I have to learn from the veterans and you know just pick everybody's brain to you know know what they did to to stay on track, stay focused, and not get their you know get off track at all with their their goals and their dreams. So. I mean, going for the, the, the rookie sack record and, you know, those lofty goals is something I want to do, but I just want to be the best from, from day one. And that takes, you know, hard work. That takes going against the best like Joe Thomas and, you know, listening, learning, you know, from your mistakes the, the day before and picking up tips from him and off the tackles and uh, your fellow D-linemen.